I've always loved over the years any time a, a long running TV series has a Halloween special and one of my favourites was Modern Family and one of the main characters in it, Claire Dunphy. I really identified with her because she was saying like she got really upset at the end of one of the episodes because she was saying Oh, Halloween's been ruined and it's my favourite holiday. All I ask, all I ask, is that you leave me Halloween. Yeah, Halloween. I realise it is a crazy-ass holiday for a grown woman to care about this much, but it is my crazy-ass holiday. Mine. And I really think like that because even though I like Christmas and Bonfire Night and New Year's Eve and stuff like that, I've always loved Halloween because it's just a little bit more chilled out, like it doesn't have to be this perfect thing, you know, you can just sort of celebrate it like crazy or do nothing, and so it's really good. And I got a bit of feedback on this one, in about like 1990, 1991, I remember being on this painting and decorating course, and I don't know why the calendar always sticks to my head, because we were painting this village hall in the middle of nowhere, and it was like, it's funny because it was like two houses there, so I don't know why it was like a village hall uh, there. But on the calendar it said there was going to be like a full moon, and that was specific to 1990. But I remember being really gutted that Halloween looked like it was dying out, no pun intended, didn't get no trick or treaters. There was even no Halloween films on TV and stuff like that. So was it specific to the UK or was it just in my mind? I'm drinking. What's your favourite scary movie? You have to have a favourite. So you're telling me that I can't think of my top five favourite scary films of all time? No problem. Roll VT. My favourite horror films of all time are The Cabinet of Dr Caligari, Dead of Night, Alfred Hitchcock Psycho, Toby Hooper's The Texas Chainsaw Massacre and John Carpenter's In the Mouth and Badness. I was just about three or four years ago, me and a couple of my friends, we went to, into town in homemade Ghostbusters outfits, which sounds really lame. Yeah. But a couple of standout moments uh, arrived from that. I remember we were walking down the street and there was a guy walking, I think it was with his son or his like, little nephew or something, and he leaned over and goes, look, there's the Ghostbusters. And somebody, because I had my niece spiked me out up, so it was like Egon. So he goes, you look just like him, don't you? And we walked in the 80s reflex bar, which we have every right to do, and this one girl thrust a drink into my mouth and just uh, made, made me drink alcohol for the first time in my life. <laughs> if anybody else has noticed this as well, this uh, might just be a unique perspective to me. We're in the US. It seems like you can dress as anything for Halloween, like a, a piece of cheese, <laughs> I don't know why that's popped in there, or like one of the Musketeers or something, or Superman. In the UK, it always has to be, ooh, a zombie or a, um, a, a, a traffic warden. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Oh, and I'll just say this quickly while I think about it. Uh, has anybody had this experience in the UK where you almost feel like you need a Halloween bingo card where I guarantee you go up to anybody in the UK who's about 40 and say, ooh, I can't wait for Halloween. And they'll say, oh, we didn't have that when I was young. And, ooh, that's come from that America, that has. Oh, this was years ago then when I was about seven or eight and he had one of them cheap Halloween plastic masks with the elastic band on with just hold on by two staples and my balaclava. And I remember knocking on this old woman's door, and it was me and a couple of other people. And this woman came out and she was like, you know, 137 years old. And that wasn't the freaky part, amazingly, but we said like, oh, trick or treat and all this. And she said, and this thing was still so mind blowing to this day. She said, what's Halloween? And I was like, so what? Oh, this is a really cool thing. I've got this um, Hobgoblin uh, box. The, the Hobgoblin has long gone from it. The uh, best before date on it, ironically, is the 1st of September 2010. Is that before Halloween? Either way, anyway, that's beside the point. But uh, I got brought this years ago. This uh, model of uh, Frank Furter's monster. And the battery in it has lasted I think easily for a decade, maybe about 13, 14 years, and it's always debatable whether it will work every Halloween, so here goes nothing. It should say, Happy Halloween! Ha 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 Perfect representation of it, here we go. Happy Halloween! Yay! <laughs> His eyes light up! Happy His eyes are flashing! <laughs> 
again, and I don't bring too close to the candles, it might melt, and I don't just want myself to be happy on Halloween. I'm with these crazy cat people, and I've brought some of this cat food that is a encore soup, a tempting treat lovingly made with salmon and sea bream, I don't know what a sea bream is, with sea bream pieces and a tasty pumpkin soup. So the cats can have this as well. Oh, this was about six, seven months ago now, but I took me uh, niece and nephew to uh, see a local spooky uh, highlight. That's not the right thing, but I took him to the local graveyard to see a grave of uh, a supposed witch named Molly Lee. And they were all acting really brave until the grave exploded and Molly Lee just flew out of it and they all ran away going, ah! uh, I don't know if anybody has this uh, experience as well on Halloween. Uh, I'd love to get um, somebody else's perspective on this to see if it's just me or anybody else. We know those really cliche candles. are sort of a bit like this, but the sort of ones that are about five inches long and you see them in like Scrooge and stuff like that in a Christmas car where they're in like a little cup and somebody's just holding a candle. And I always think, I do want them candles for a pumpkin. And you go in like every shop and you can only get Ooh, vanilla extract with a dash of cotton breeze candles. It's like, <laughs> give me a break. Oh, one thing that really sort of warmed my soul though was in, I was in Morrison's the other day, which is a local British supermarket. And they had a Dracula mask that looked exactly like Bella Lugosi. Bella Lugosi would be proud. Uh, one of my favorite Halloween things is this Halloween 5 soundtrack. I didn't want to just get everything that was literally Halloween brandy, but this tape is really special to me. I got it from a local record shop quite, you know, late on because it would have been about 1994. A soundtrack on cassette, believe it or not. Got some great songs on here like Romeo Romeo, Anything For Money, and the side two is all Alan Howard stuff. That's pretty cool. And uh, could maybe flash this up uh, to cover the screen so that uh, people can actually read this but this is Halloween safety tips one that just caught me eye was uh, what time will the party start 5 30 p.m. is a good time as it will be dark and people will be home from work so remember that fact fans <laughs> oh one thing that blew my mind as well I found out uh, completely ignoring all continuity but why break the habit of a lifetime right Jamie Lee Curtis is returning to the Halloween series as Laurie Strode. And I remember when we did a commentary for Halloween H2O and it became a memorable quote on Zarpum's website. A guy in Festival Park said, She's still alright, isn't she? And she still is now, too. <laughs> oh, one thing I love doing on Halloween as well, when I'm getting all my stuff together and getting my pumpkin ready and all that kind of stuff, I love listening to the Carl Pelkington Halloween podcast where they talk about ghosts and spooky things, that's kind of cool. But even better than that is my Halloween 2 trusty old VHS. I know it's in 4.3 and it looks like the transfer has been done from a print of, uh, that's been left outside and in a dustbin. But it's from Tartles, one of my favorite local video shops. All my hardcore film fans had this and it's one of my few proper Halloween traditions. It's not Halloween unless I uh, watch this. I was watching this morning, as you do, and mostly because Ruth Langford is on there, but they were talking about that apparently there's a, a new Halloween popular thing where it's Halloween trees. That seems like that could be a mistake, but you never know. A couple of things that were in that Halloween box, I'll just go through them super quickly. Is remember Pepsi Raw? What the hell was that? And. This just is to make up for the good karma of watching John Carpenter's Halloween. This is Rob Zombie's Halloween, a DVD rental copy. Remember that? And uh, I'm so sad I even like Rob Zombie's H2. But thanks for watching, everybody, and keep it locked. Thanks for watching The Legends of Cherry Hill. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing.